All right, before we get started, don't treat me like a guilty pleasure. You hit that like button. You grind on that like button. All right, so I picked all these books up here in a single solitary day, not even including these dollar books that we'll show at another time. But uh, what are we starting with? We're starting with the coolest thing that I think I picked up in this single solitary day. We have the uh, novelization of the movie Enter the Dragon. Uh, this is early 1970s. Um, look at the, look at that, look at that, look at that spine. Look how beautiful, I paid $25 for this. And look at this. No crease, no reader crease at all. Look at that. Woo-wee! As many of you know, I am a comic book white supremacist, but I'm also a black activist. And look at that. Look at the condition on this thing. Uh, I paid $25 for this. Um, the last time I checked, something like this sold for... I want in in not even as nice a condition as this. I want it like this to me is like a very fine condition and as far as books go, very fine condition and the one that sold was probably like a fine minus and it sold for like $64. So something like this. Woo, look at that. Ooh, wee. This is definitely the coolest thing. You have the poster art on the on the book oh i love this love it love it i got this thing in plastic because i don't want to be handling it all like that but look at that Ooh wee yes so who knows what this thing goes for in this condition Ooh wee love it love it love it love it enter the dragon baby okay so what's what are we doing let's get into a proper comic book haul and uh, we're starting with Avengers The Initiative, featuring Reptile One-Shot. So this is the first appearance of the character. So I was able to find not one, not two, but I found three copies of Avengers Initiative Reptile, first appearance of this particular character. So it turns out that he will... Ooh, excuse me for that glare. Oh, no! That glare monster is strong. Okay, there we go. It turns out Reptile is going to be is going to have his own um, is going to have his own. I want to say TV show. No, no, he's going to have his own uh, comic book series. All right, okay. For some now, I've had this book on my want list. I swear I did, but I just never really like looked for it. You know what I mean? And then. This book got hot. This what this became like a like a fifty dollar book, it seems, overnight, and so I guess I was so I guess I figured, uh, all right, let's go <laughs> let's go find this thing now, <laughs> let's go find this thing. So Avengers: The Initiative Reptile found these for cover price. Also concerning Reptile, uh, this Avengers Academy number six. I crap. Um, I believe this is a one in twenty five variant. Uh, I found it for ten dollars. I figured it really doesn't go for anything, but I figured, eh, why not? I was feeling it. I was on one. Let's go ahead and pick this up as well. Uh, also, Avengers Academy related, um, number one, second print. This thing has a ton of first appearances in it, and I believe I paid cover price for this as well. Okay. Ooh, I like this. I'm really excited to find another copy of this. And this is this one is way nicer than the dollar copy that I found. So we have Avengers Ultron Revolution number 11. So this is the first appearance of the uh, animated version of of Kamala Khan and this book goes for, I have my notes, I have my notes, um, goes for about $20, you know what I mean? And probably on a really good day, uh, maybe even 30 I know I've I've had this book on my want list for, for man, it seems like months, uh, just because I had noticed that this book was doing a little something, and then I, and then probably a month or so ago, I came across 
like a dollar copy and it was a little you know it was a little rough but i was i was happy to have it i figured that, that would be it but nope came across a nice high grade uh, cover price copy yes avengers uh, and this is a good cover too really good cover all right also miss marvel related the magnificent miss marvel number five the um this is the second print so this is the first appearance of the Storm Ranger armor. And how much does this book go for? And it's about like a 20 to 30 dollars. 20. I've seen it like the range. I've seen the range go for 20 to like 35. And this is a Cree Storm Ranger uh, suit, like armor suit or whatever you want to call it. And I, I remember this book being hot. Um, when it had come out, I, I want to say like a year ago or something like that. So yeah, this book has been hot for a while, but now it's really starting to come into its own. So yeah, I guess they're trying to do like a, uh, what, like a, kind of like a symbiote thing. And then the symbiote, uh, is the story that the symbiote comes, comes to life and becomes Storm Ranger all on its own or something like that. Okay. All right. I'm down with it. All right. Okay, what's next? We have some more uh, Marvel-related stuff. So I found two copies while I was out, while I was out digging, of a uh, Captain Marvel number one. Oh crap! What year is this from? I want to say. Oh, we have the year right here. Let's see. So this is 1989. Okay. So from 1989, and uh, this features uh, Monica Rambo in her own solo series. Okay, I'm I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm shocked that this book is uh what going for fifty dollars right now, and so I I was able to find what what were these like maybe three three or four dollars or something like that, and I found a newsstand. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. But really surprised by that i just figured this would be the type of book regardless of it being like a number one or anything like that that it just wouldn't do anything and it didn't the one the book to get would be her um her first appearance in um spider amazing spider-man annual number 16 so i'm really surprised but not really <laughs> i'm surprised but not really i should have saw this i should have seen this coming all right what's next what is next I'm super, I'm uh, I'm uh I'm excited to find a couple copies of this. So we have House of Mystery number 1 from 2008. Uh the first appearance of Cressida or either Cressida or Cressida. That's the name of a car, right? That's the name of like the uh, early 80s car, the Cressida. But so it turns out that this character that the character featured in this book is going to be in uh, upcoming Joker series. That's that's the wrap on this book. Okay, all right. It's <laughs> I'm fine with that. But yeah, so House of Mystery number one found these for cover price, and what are these going for? These are going for like thirty bucks, which is uh, I don't know. I mean, again, it's surprising, but it shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, all right, sweet. So I remember uh, the House of Mystery Halloween annual, and then you had the House of Mystery, I believe, number 16, which had the first appearance of Sweet Tooth, and now you have number one has a first appearance in it. All right, so this book is coming into its own. All right, man. <laughs> 2012 ain't got nothing on 2020 and 2021 i swear all right what's next what's next Ooh, now this book i love this book i freaking love this book i came across this didn't even know it existed but i'm glad it does so we have sarge steel number three this is from 1965 and it features the first appearance of this character right here, the Smiling Skull. 
uh, I guess he, he's supposed to be kind of like Charlton Comics' own uh, version of the Red Skull. He was like a Nazi, Nazi officer slash leader and all that kind of stuff. But um, man, and here's the thing: he doesn't appear outside of any anything like outside of 1966. So he's so he had a good run for about a year, and then he was put on the shelf, never to be used again. But that's okay. That's okay. I like this obscure character i like this obscure first appearance and the cover is on point like to me this cover is hot and we see that they're making the mythical magical they are making a tv series out of the charlton character the original originally a charlton character the peacemaker and the and they're using also judo master who is uh, also an original Charlton character. And there's speculation on whether Sarge Steele, this Charlton character, is going to show up. And I, and James Gunn is um, doing that show. So, I, and he's just weird enough to maybe possibly put a character, like an obscure character like this, in in the TV show as well, you know what I mean. So and and it's based on absolutely nothing but just hunches and no, there's nothing like no rumors, no anything. But like I said, James Gunn is weird enough to put a character like the Smiling Skull in in his TV media. You dig what I'm saying? So um, the, and on and, and on top of this, there's cover just takes all the boxes for me you know nazi imagery um the the character is front and center on the um the actual first appearance of this character is on the cover and the cover is just awesome i i dude i can go on and on and on and on and on about this book but um um yeah yeah i love this i love this freaking love this i paid i think twelve dollars and this copy is really nice. This copy is beautiful. It's for for twelve bucks, how about that? Really nice, kind of like low to like lower high grade. How about that? <laughs> mid mid high low grade. <laughs> but damn it, I love this book, and I I'm pretty sure this book can be found pretty cheap. You know, if you really if you really search so. Yes, yeah, Sarge Steel number three. Love this book. All right, we're moving on. We got to move on. Um, found some Black Panther number one. I believe this is from... Ah, crap. I believe this is from 1990... Either 98 or 99. I forget. But this is a book worth searching for. I forget if there's a first appearance. I, I, I should have done the research on this before I had shown this off, but, uh, yeah, Black Panther number one, I found this for $7, found this for $7, okay, all right, um, some more Black Panther stuff, so we have Black Panther volume, whatever, number 15, this is the Bring On the Bad Guys variant, uh, I found this for cover price, and this book can be found any and everywhere, and I would say for those people that missed out on the Killmonger number one second print which i had featured earlier this month and then it kind of took off like a freight train after that uh if you missed out on that book i think this book is the next uh the, probably the next best thing and it could be like i said it could be found for cover price anywhere and so yeah black panther number 15 bring on the bad guys variant this book is nice great great looking standout and i gotta be honest with you i'm not feeling i'm not feeling this though like i'm not feeling that because it looks like ugh, it looks like he shaves <laughs> i don't know man that, that's looking a little sus but um we're, we're like where's where's his junk <laughs> i'm worried about him i'm worried about the guy all right What's this? What's this? What's this? Incredible Hulk's annual 
uh, number one from 2011. So this book, man, this book got hot over the past week. So it turns out that this book is the first appearance of for first first appearance of the ghost spider but not that ghost spider but it's the uh, it's like an amalgamation of ghost rider and spider-man but uh yeah yeah this book got hot it became like what a 50 dollar book so i was happy and this book is really tough to find i don't know if i'm looking in the wrong spots or not because uh, like uh, annuals are really weird because sometimes they're in the back of the Incredible Hulk. Sometimes they're in the front. Sometimes they're in the middle. You know what I mean? It's just like you never really know quite where to look when it comes to uh, annuals. And what's up with, like Steve McNiven, great artist, but what's up with the Hulk's face? It looks like he's wearing Leatherface, Hulk version of Leatherface. Uh, woo, that, that, woo, woo, very disturbing, very disturbing. Does anybody want to look inside and try to find Ghost Spider? <laughs> Why not? Why the hell not? We're here. We're here. Let's see if we can find it. I'll give it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And I couldn't find it. Darn it. Negative one, <laughs> negative. Two. Oh, here we go. So there we go. The amalgamation of Spider-Man and Ghost Rider. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's next? All new Captain America number one. Alex Ross variant. And how much did I pay for this? I believe I paid twenty dollars, either twenty or fifteen. And I figured, uh, this is my second copy of this, I figured I'd go ahead and pick up another copy of this just because um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier is coming. So, why not? Why not? I, be I believe I paid $20 for this. And I'm pretty sure I paid 15 for this. Oh, new Captain America, number one, the design variant. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. And I like this book a lot. I like this. So Aaron Yee, my man Aaron Yee, he recommended this to me. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man number 160. So this is the death of the ultimate version of Peter Parker. And uh, he also mentioned that uh, he liked this because, because of the death, because of, because of the death of Peter Parker it opens the door for um, it opens the door for Miles Morales. So this is actually an important book, and I f managed to find the variant version of this. So this is well, rather the bagged variant. Uh, this goes for well, I paid fifteen, and this is a one in thirty bagged variant, and I believe this goes for like I don't know, like maybe thirty or forty or something like that. But for fifteen, I'm like, all right, I'll pick it up. Why not? It, it looks good. It looks good. Also, also, we have Ultimate Spider-Man number 154. This is a... Oh, man. I forget what ratio this is. Oh, no. Uh, either a 1 in 15 or a 1 in 25. Uh, darn it. But I paid $12 for it. It's about worth that much, but it's a really good-looking... Sarah Pacelli, uh, black cat cover. Actually, is that is that Sarah Pacelli? Dee -dee -dee. So it looks like it. Dee -dee -dee. Focus, focus. Is that is that her name? But anyway, uh, I'm getting off getting off the point here, and I'm jumping off point, and I just like the cover. It really. I noticed that all of the cheap copies have been bought up um, over the past few weeks, and what's left now are $50 copies, so I wouldn't go spending $50 just yet on this, but uh, it's a good-looking book, but although, although Spider-Man looks like a turd, 
not fe- I'm not feeling the way Spider-Man looks on this, but what are you going to do? All right, what's next? What's next? Uh, found two copies of Nova number two, the Francavilia variant. And one copy I paid $8 for, and another copy I paid, I think, $25. So, uh, as you can tell, I paid uh, $25. I paid... I I bought the $25 copy first, and then, like, the very next store, the very next store that I went to, I wound up finding one for, like, $8. I'm like, ah, damn it. (laughs) But uh, I noticed that this book is going for, what, $80? For whatever reason. Okay. All right. All right. Now, there's two separate copies where you have, I believe this is, who is this? Um, You have, ah, crap, I forget his name. Uh, I want to call him Jay Novacek, but it's not. But we're going to call him Jay Novacek uh, for the sake of simplicity and time. And then you have Sam Sam Alexander. Now, this is the second cover where you have... Jay Novacek, like, he got his arm all on Sam Alexander. And and I noticed that there was another Nova cover where, he, like, they were flying and his hand was, like, all on, uh, where Jay Novacek's hand was all on S- Sam Alexander's shoulder. And I'm just like, really? I mean, one cover is okay, but two covers is, like, a little, uh, uh, a little sus, a little sus there. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I found him. I found him, and we're going to put him away. Tuck him away, forget I got him. I paid $15 for this, a Secret Warriors number one, uh, one in 25 variant. Why not? Why not? I, this is my second copy. The first copy that I bought, I wanted to paint. I paid like like $10 for it, but this is a 1 in 25 for 15 You never know. Why not? Why not? Okay, what's next? What's next? So this is Secret Warriors Volume 2, and we're going to do Secret Warriors Volume 1, number 4. So this is the first appearance. Now, this book got hot. Um, so this is the first appearance of a character called Manifold. And he's just like the character... That char- that Aborigine character in the Savage Land who opens up portals is basically just like that guy. All right, so I found some covers for uh, oh well rather found three copies for cover price apiece. Okay, all right, it's all good. Uh, America, so we found. Do do do. Ooh, that cover, that light is hitting that cover. Perfect. So we have Amerigo this. Bucci, number seven and number six. All right. Okay. So found these for cover price. Damn, this book is getting really hot. Very, very, very hot. And uh, also this Jen Partel cover for number six is uh, doing a little something, something too. All right. Sweet. Uh, America, Chavez related. We're not done. We're not done. Found three copies of the... O'Malley variant. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not really digging this cover. I think Brian Lee O'Malley should just stick to Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Doing superheroes is trash. <laughs> oh, crap. But, uh, bop, 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 bop. what did I want to say? This book is going for... Okay, the last time I checked, a copy sold for like 30 something dollars. Alright. I mean, for $5, I'll pay that. I'll I'll, I'll, buy it, I'll buy it for five if it's going for thirty, and also Scotty Young, uh, Young Avengers number one. Um, what is this going? I don't know. This book I paid seven fifty for this, and this and I really don't like Scotty Young covers, but uh, I don't know. I guess I bought this thing for the future. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, ooh, okay. I got I got hooked up very very lovely by uh by a comic shop owner and I was able to buy something that's killing the children number 2. This is the virgin variant. Uh paid cover price for this. And he and he knew this book is going for a lot more, but he's just like, "Yeah, I don't care." He's not he's not all insecure and like he's not all desperate to not have people like get over on him. 
like certain uh, comic book shop owners. He's not he's not all like desperate and insecure. But uh, yeah, yeah, he sold me this, and he hooked me up. So yeah, I got this for a cover price. Uh, also from this same store, uh, I found GI Joe number six. Uh, this is from 2013. Uh, this is a one in ten variant. Um, this is a with a cover girl on the cover, and now the print run on this is low. The print run on this is low, probably like nine thousand copies. So probably there are nine hundred copies of this one in ten variant um, out there. Maybe even less than that. So because I can't imagine anybody ordering even ten copies of GI Joe at that time. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure this print this book is very scarce. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, G -G -G -G, nope, not GI Joe, but Star Wars Adventures number nineteen. So what is this book? Even? Okay, so I paid uh, seven seven dollars and fifty cents for this uh, GI Joe variant. And what is this book even going for right now? Because there are none on eBay. And I try. And here's the thing. This is my second copy of this. I sold a copy years ago. I don't even remember how much I sold it for. But I think I might hold on to this one. Just because. Like G.I. Joe prices are like going up, 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 up. So mm, it, would, it would be wise to maybe hold on or just post it. Or just uh, put it up for like some crazy amount and see what happens. Star Wars Adventures number 19, 1 in 10 variant. Uh, I, I pay cover price for this, but I'm noticing for some reason, I'm not quite sure why, that this book is going for $30 to $60. Look it up for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Look it up for yourself and see what this book is going for. And you'll be and you'll be really surprised. I don't know if there is fuckery foot or not, but uh, I'm, I was really surprised by uh, what this book was uh, selling for. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Now, this is probably the best pickup. This is the this is the best. Uh, okay, so this is the best thing that I found, this Enter the Dragon. But this is probably the best comic that I found. So we found ourselves a fourth copy of Ice Cream Man number 17, the Action Comics homage cover. And uh, I found this thing for cover price. Got this bad boy. I tell you, I take that back. It, I didn't get it for cover price. I got it for twenty five cent above cover price. How about that? Yeah. So Ice Cream Man number seventeen for twenty five cent above cover price. Yes. Very happy about that. Um, this is a nice high grade book. Definitely. I, I wouldn't say it's a nine eight because there's you know like a couple of little flaws on it, but. Still, to find this thing for cover... Oh, take that back. 25 cent over cover price. Yes, very happy. So happy. And I know they had to have just put this thing out because I, I'm at this store pretty frequently and I'm always checking through their ice cream man and, it's, and something like that I, I would have noticed a long time ago. So, yeah, they must have just put this thing out. So what is this thing selling for? Well, I tell you what. I tell you what, like I tried to check uh, Comicron to see what the print run on this book was, and I was really shocked to see that this book, like the print run on this, is like, like less than ten thousand, so like like roughly like nine thousand and change, you know what I mean? And that's between covers A and B, from or, or if I and if I'm wrong about that, please correct me, but uh, I believe that is between um, covers A and B. And this is the A cover. And um, this book is going for... What is this book going for? Like, it, it, it's it's selling for an easy $75. Easy. Easy. And I have to imagine that uh, this book is will be, will be in... Uh, and, like, I've seen it sell for, like, like around, like, 90... It, 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 it wants to break that $100 plane. It's not quite there yet. But it's it, it's 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 a matter of time before this thing becomes an easy hundred dollar book, and I mean easy. So yeah, I found another copy. I was at a store like maybe a couple of months ago, and I saw like three copies up on the shelf, 
and um, the store owner let me buy them all. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. So I have a fourth copy. Yes. All right. What's next? What's next? Scarlet Witch, number seven, the story thus far variant. And I paid cover price for this. And what is this book going for? So we have, um, did I write notes down on this? I don't think so. And I could, I could have swore that this book was going for like 20. I could have swore. I could have swore. But yeah, it's a good looking cover. Right, right. All right. What's next? Young Avengers presents Wiccan and Speed. Now this book has got, this book became pretty hot. Uh, so we have, uh, ba, 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 ba. what did I want to say about this? Uh, it is, I paid cover price for this and it's going for like $30. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, and don't take my word for it. Look it up for yourself. All this stuff here. Do not take my word for any of this. Look, look up the prices for yourself. Also Scarlet Witch related. So we have Fantastic Four, number 180. Five. So this is the first appearance of Nicholas Scratch. This is Agatha Harkness' son in the show WandaVision. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert for number for, spoiler alert for episode seven. Um she had Agatha or oh gosh, what what was her name? Well, whatever she was before she uh revealed herself, the neighbor. She uh, she had a, a rabbit named Scratchy, and a lot of people are thinking, oh, that might be Nicholas Scratch. And it seems like the storyline is following what's going on here in this uh, Fantastic Four, in these Fantastic, this Fantastic Four number 185. So we'll see what happens, and uh, I, I think this is a good, a good book to have, and I paid $10 for this. I paid $10 a piece um, for them. All right, what's next? We're we're rounding the bases. Doctor Strange number 81, first appearance of oh boy. First appearance of Rin Rin Tra Rin Tra. Yeah. And this is like a $30 book. I forget who the character is, but I I guess their first name I guess their name is Rin Tra. All right, I I'm I think I paid like $3 for this. I'm pretty sure I paid like three dollars for this as well. Micronauts number eleven. I forget the significance. I, oh, first appearance of the time travelers, or something like that. Okay, this book was really tough to find. Like uh, during the, um, like the first one, two, three, four, five, six. Like the first six or seven stores that I went to, like this book was not there. So I was happy to find, uh, finally find a copy. New Avengers number forty nine. I don't know. This is a this is a oldie but a goodie to me. So this is the first appearance of first. So this is New Avengers number forty nine second print sketch variant, and this is the first appearance of the Dark Avengers. This book was really hot, like a few a few years ago, and it kind of it kind of. But that's okay. You buy you buy on the dips, right? So I, I I just feel it's a matter of time before this book uh, comes back into its own. So I paid cover price for that. And last but not least, Convergence number seven. I believe this is a one in twenty five variant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, Amanda Con Amanda Connor cover. Um, Amanda Ooh, la, 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 la. Amanda Connor cover uh, featuring Crypto. Crypto versus Catwoman. <laughs> I love this cover. This is a cover that I had uh, a long time ago, and I sold off. And I was kind of like, eh, this is, a, this is a really nice cover. It doesn't go for anything, but it's a really good-looking cover regardless. So I figured I'd pick up pick it this up again, um, and especially because it was cover price. So, yes, that is my haul. We got ourselves some Enter the Dragon action. I am so excited about this. I really am. And uh, that's my haul. I'm sticking to it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.